Sweat presents The Sweat You Forget. Hello there, I'm Carrie, and this is your body. You might be wondering why it looks so pale. That's because your body releases at least 2.5 liters of fluids every day. You see, it's the sweat that you forget that's dehydrating you. Like work from home over time takes effort, causing your body to sweat. In cold temperature, <laughs> your body burns energy to stay warm. Having caffeinated drinks and alcohol can make you urinate more often. Fever causes sweating as your body is fighting viruses. And when you cry, you release body fluids through tears. But remember, you can always recover with Bukhari Sweat. Because of these ions, we make a good match for your body's hydration needs. Ooh, this is our stop! Remember, don't let the sweat you forget keep you from living a healthy and hydrated life. Bukhari Sweat! Bahagi na ng buhay nating mga Pilipino ang sports. Mula sa panahon ng unos, sa tamis ng tagumpay, Sa kabila ng pagbabago ng buhay, ang Philippine Sports Commission ay patuloy na magigilingkod sa sambayanan at atletang Pilipino. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Ako po si I.C. Almazan mula sa Public Communications Office ng Philippine Sports Commission. At wala po sa ngayon si Joa Sriconor for our episode of PSC Chatham because he's currently in Iloilo City for the Visayas leg of the Philippine um, ROTC Games um, yeah, in Iloilo City. And for today, I'll be delivering the updates of our agency for this week. So we'll start off with the athletes' achievements. We want to congratulate our Philippine National Taekwondo team for their triumphant campaign at the 2023 Chuncheon Korea Open International in South Korea last August 8 to 14. At dun nga ginanap ang Pomse at Kurogi. Those are two different um, categories. And for our team, they won the best team in the category Freestyle over 17. And for the individual individual division lumahok si Ian Matthew Corton na nakapagwagi ng gold sa individual male G2 event under 30 and for Darius Venerable nakapagwagi siya ng bronze sa freestyle individual male G2 event over 17 and for Antoinette Medalada nakapagwagi siya ng silver sa junior individual female international and for Juni Nobla na nakapagwagi ng bronze individual male senior for under 60. And for our for our team event, na nakapagwagi ng gold medal sa freestyle mixed team over 17, lumahok sila Stella Nicole Yape, Juvenile Fail Crisostomo, Justin Kobe Macario, Zaika Angelica Santiago, Patrick King Perez. And for our duos, Nilahok nila ang freestyle pair over 17 kung saan nakapagwagi sila ng gold medal yan sina Darius Venerable at Stella Nicole Yape. And for the day 3 um, events and activities, dyan ginanap ang Kirogi tournaments. And starting off, nakapagwagi tayo ng silver courtesy of Kirsty Elaine Alora, oh, sorry, gold for Kirsty Elaine Alora sa women's 
73 kilos. And si baby Jessica Canabal naman ay nakapagbagi ng silver sa women's 53, under 53 kilos. And for the juniors division, lumakok si na Kurt Michael Corata na nakapagbagi ng silver sa under 51 kilos. Si Rodito Sinogbojan Jr. na nakapagbagi nakapagbagi na silver sa under 48 kilos, si Caitlin Julia Carlos na nakapagbagi ng bronze medal sa under 44 kilos, at si Tatiana Mangi na nakapagbagi ng silver sa under 49 kilos. Again, congratulations sa ating um, taekwondo team na lumawak sa 2023 Chuncheon Korea Open International sa South Korea. And for our agency's updates for this week, Last Wednesday ay ginanap nga ang incentives awarding sa Malacañang for our medalists who won in the South or 32nd Southeast Asian Games and the 12th ASEAN Para Games. At ayun nga po, over 300 athletes ang pumunta or dumalo sa nasabing incentives awarding. And of course, His Excellency President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos led the, the led the awarding ceremony. At sabi niya nga, ipinagmamalaki namin kayo, kaya susuklian na, namin ang inyong ginamang sakripisyo. And for all of, for those who don't know, after the ceremony, the office of the president actually announced that the president will be doubling the incentives of the athletes. And of course, in attendance in the ceremony were the Philippine Sports Commission, headed by Chairman Richard Bachman, together with Commissioner Matthew Fritz Gaston, Commissioner Olivia Bonku and Commissioner Edward Heiko, of course, together with Commissioner Walter Torres. And notable personalities were also present in the awarding ceremony, namely PAGCOR Chairman and CEO Alejandro Tenko, Philippine Paralympic Committee, PPC, President Michael Barredo, and Philippine Olympic Committee President Abraham Bambol Tolentino, and of course, Senator Francis Tolentino. Again, we want to congratulate ang ating mga atleta na kapagwagi sa um, 32nd Southeast Asian Games and the 12th para ASEAN, ASEAN para, green, para Games. And for the agency's um, updates and official announcements, we want to... Um, announced that the National Sports Coaching Certification course is back for its second batch of participants. So starting this year, the NSCCC's Level 1 is for sports science lectures to be conducted entirely online, while Levels 2 and 3 will be focused on sports-specific trainings. So para sa ating mga coaches and trainings dyan, um, you should watch out for our um, updates on this course um, that's posted on our um official Facebook page. So for this year's NSCCC sports-specific training, we will be offering for nine sports specifically. So that's aquatic swimming, athletics, and knees, badminton, gymnastics, judo, table tennis, taekwondo, and weightlifting. And the registration for the course is online only and can be accessed through the links posted on our Facebook page. And each session will be accepted accepting a maximum of 135 participants only. And so you can check out the new dates for the 2023-2024 PSC PSI National Sports Coaching Certification course on our official Facebook page. And this course will be spanning from September of this year until March of 2024. And as of now, po, Region 4A, Region 3, and NCR of NCR registrations are officially closed. So for further information and inquiries on the NSCCC, kindly contact the PSI Philippine Sports Education Unit at PSI, PSC, PSI Sports ED at gmail.com. And for the latest news in the sports community, we would like to send our condolences to the bereaved family members and friends of former PSC commissioner and former national volleyball athlete, Teresita Tisha Abundo. So she passed away on Sunday, that's August 13, at the age of 74. So for those who don't know, um, she was actually honored by the late President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. with a presidential award as the most outstanding female volleyball player in 1969. On behalf of the PSC community, we express our sorrows in her passing. 
So that's the latest news for um, our agency for this week. And moving on, um, we'll be giving you the latest updates on the ROTC Games Visayas Leg, currently held in Iloilo City. So nandun nga si Joa Shrika North to give us the latest updates on the happenings and events um, live from Iloilo City. So um, hi Joa, kamusta dyan? I think Joash. Um I think there's something or uh, there's some technical difficulties. Wait lang. Let me check. Ayun, De. ayun. Hi Josh, kamusta dyan sa Iloilo City? <laughs> ayun, ayun. Uh, thank you, IC, sa introduction. Uh, hello everyone, kamusta po kayong lahat? I hope, uh, I hope kahit pa paano, no, klaro po yung aking audio and uh, video ngayong hapon po na ito. I am live uh, right now po, no, covering uh, the ROTC Games, the first uh, Philippine ROTC Games this year. Uh, tayo po ngayon ay nasa Visayas Regional Leg uh, and uh, as you know as you've noticed already tayo po ay uh, on the na tayo po ay nasa City of Love in uh, Iloilo City so uh, ang media po media headquarters natin ngayon ay nasa loob ng West Visayas State University so may may mga viewers man tayo diyan right now na nasa West Visayas around the vicinity ng uh, area po namin dito and uh, kasama po namin syempre ang Philippine Sports Commission nandito po no ang uh, PSC uh, technical working group syempre assisting and helping out ang atin pong uh, RO, ROTC Games Visayas like hindi lang po kami dito sa ating uh, media committee pero maging to our technical staff uh, our results committee our technical is there nasa kabilang kwarto lang po sila so i want to say hi ano to them on behalf of the working group ng Philippine Sports Commission dito sa Iloilo. Uh, I see salamat doon sa updates kanina and um, marami po tayong nagaganap uh, sa loob at labas ng ating ahensya but uh, we want to extend ang atin pong uh, condolences po muli no uh, to the family ng mga naiwanan po ng ating former PSA commissioner one of the best athletes in uh, Philippine volleyball women's uh, Filipina, women's volleyball no, sa Pilipinas, si, uh, former commissioner uh, Tisha Abundo is one of, uh, I'm very, very sure ang uh, atin pong uh, volleyball community is also syempre mourning uh, with us uh, on this. But uh, syempre po, we're sending our thoughts and prayers to the family. But uh, moving forward, alam ko maraming senior po si IC na updates kanina. Lahat po yan ay may kita nyo sa aming social media accounts. Especially IC, you know, sa, amin, sa ating uh, social media platforms ng Philippine Sports Commission, it's there. Uh, it's there po sa social media platforms ng PSC. Uh, mahanap niyo po yan no, all throughout our Facebook, Instagram, and uh, uh, Twitter platforms. You can always check it out there. And uh, speaking of our OTC games, uh, marami marami po uh, binagit ng ni IC no, nandito ko uh, sa Iloilo to give you. I think may. Um... Konting problema sa internet connection ni Joash. So as he was saying, um, 
there are a lot of happenings in the ROTC games. There are actually um, media personnel or there's a pool of media that we brought together with some of the representatives of the Public Communications Office for PSC um, na tumutulong nga sa pag-cover ng um, Visayas leg ng ROTC Games since sobrang dami ang nag-aabang kasi di ba bago nga to so napakaraming updates na kailangan nating malaman internally from them because from our end dito sa um, Rizal Memorial Sports Complex medyo nahihirapan din kami sa um, dami ng mga nangyayari sa games and sa sobrang konti ng mga tao um, thankful kami na nandyan ang ating media partners in helping us cover um, the this Visayas leg in Iloilo City and um, I think he's here na Joash if I'm back on stage so okay. they will have to check ayun uh, thank you IC no as i was saying po uh, marami po marami pong nangyayari sa ROTC games and i would like to give you uh, some quite updates po dahil uh, nagsimula na po officially ang Philippine ROTC games that, that was last sunday itong linggo po yan and uh, ang uh, ito po ay uh, marami pong nangyayari no i think as as i go through uh, the updates we can show at least for the appreciation of our viewers we can show some photos on the screen ayan na po no uh, officially po binuksan ng ROTC games uh, ito pong uh, linggo uh, dito po sa Iloilo uh, specifically in Iloilo Sports Complex kung saan nandoon po no dumalo ang ating mga officials and uh, VIPs no kasama yung I, I believe over over 600 Ano po, 600 cadet athletes, no? And making up to the 1,000 and more uh, delegations, no? Kasama na dyan yung coaches natin, technical officials, mga working groups natin. Over 1,000 po, uh, ang 1,000 people po ang dumulo sa opening ceremonies ng Philippine ROTC Games sa Visayas. And, uh, yun nga po, no? As, as seen on the photos on your screens, uh, ang atin pong chairman, uh, Richard Bachman, was also there. And uh, together with, uh, syempre, ang, 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 ano po, ang pagpasimula po ng ROTC Games na to, ang ating uh, good Senator Francis Tolentino. Nandun din po ang ating uh, Iloilo Governor, si Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. Oh, we also have Congressman Anthony Rolando Goles Jr. was also there. And syempre, ang ating pong PSC Board was there together with, uh, syempre, headed by our Chairman, Chairman Richard Bachman. Uh, kasama po ang ating PSC Commissioner. Um, to Fritz Gaston. Na later po, later, makakasama din si Confritz, no? Uh, para marinig natin from himself ako ano yung kanyang mga thoughts and syempre reactions and uh, yung mga kanyang experiences dito sa kanyang stay sa ating uh, uh, ROTC game. So, uh, yun po ang nangyari in the opening ceremony. So, no, that was uh, Sunday, August 13 and uh, kinabukasan po ay uh, dumiretso na po tayo ta, to the first day of competitions for day one. That was August 14. And uh, we have six sports. As you know, meron pong anim na sports no, na pinaglalabas. I think nag-drop na naman sa um, live natin si Josh. But understandable naman since mahirap nga yung internet ko, um, connection doon, yung signal doon. And as he was saying, there are multiple sports um, for the ROTC Games sa uh, Iloilo City. And of course, that's all throughout the ROTC Games for this year. And Okay. Good. Good. Can you hear me, Joash? Mukha nag stock up yung video ni Joash. Uh, so for now, we will be playing the um, highlights from the ROTC Games opening um, ceremonies. Um, which happened last Sunday, um, August 13. So we have a short clip here that we uh, we will be showing you so that you could further um, get more info and, of course, be inspired by our cadet athletes. That's showing um, for a couple of minutes.
ayun. So, um, ayun nga ang clip ng highlights ng ROTC um, Games opening ceremonies happened last Sunday. And I think bumalik na si Josh to give us a deeper um, set of information for the ROTC Games happening currently in Iloilo City. Josh? Salamat po. Salamat po sa mga viewers natin for staying with us. Alam po namin medyo nagkakaroon technical difficulties on the internet connection uh, dito po no, sa ating uh, headquarters here sa West Pisaya State University. But I, you saw, nakita niyo po yung ating uh, teaser kanina. No? And uh, again, it was uh, later makakasama tayo si Kofritz just to give us his thoughts. Pero nakita niyo naman sa video, it was a very nice uh, opening ceremony po ng mga helicopter pa. I believe there were jets pa uh, na nagkaroon ng mga aerial exhibitions po uh, from our uh, mga kasama po natin sa Philippine Air Force. And it was really a, a great time no, to unite yung ating mga branches ng ating uh, military service no, sa, ating, uh, sa ating bansa. And uh, syempre, mara- alam natin, marami na po sila naggawa sa ating bayan. But uh, just to, right now, uh, so this is a different take of it. No? Uh, now, sila ay makisama-sama. Uh, and also to to have a good quality competition po. No? Uh, pagdating naman sa larangan ng sports. And kanina binanggit ko yung mga sports ko, hindi po natin na-catch. No? Uh, I just want to share ko yung ating po mga sports na paglalabanan. Sa ROTC Games, we have athletics. Meron din po tayong Arnis. Also, basketball is there together with boxing, uh, kickboxing, and volleyball. And syempre, meron tayong uh, esports na magaganap po. No? Uh, online naman yan. Online po mangyayari ang esports natin and uh, all over the Visayas region. And uh, uh, binag- binahagi po sa atin na ni Chairman na siya ay uh, no, in, in a statement, binahagi po ni Chairman ang kanyang uh, excitement. At the same time, yung quality po, yung halaga yan ng ating ROTC Games. Sinighlight po ng ating Chairman nito uh, on, on, on his speech. Sabi niya, ang ROTC Games po ay uh, hindi lang basta competition uh, pero ito po ay uh, nag-embody ng values ng uh, ROTC program in general uh, na nasa, na, that instills in our youth and our next generation. Yung ideals daw ng leadership, camaraderie, and uh, service to the nation are exemplified ng ating mga cadet athletes na lalahok dito sa ROTC games. Hindi lang dito, no? pero also to, the, to our next legs in Mindanao, in uh, Luzon, and CR. And so y- yun yan. And uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. As seen the photos on our screen, uh, our chairman is also there. And uh, nandun po si chairman uh, Bachman with the rest of our VIPs. As I've mentioned kanina, baka na miss out po natin. I'll just repeat, no? Senator Francis Tolentino is there uh, together with uh, Iloilo, Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. and Congressman Arthur uh, Goles Jr. Our board is also there, uh, PSC Chairman Bachman nga po, and also to... Uh, also to uh, PSC Commissioner Matthew Fritz Gaston. And uh, I see nagsimula na yung games. No? Uh, nag-open na tayo noong August 14. And uh, uh, kahapon po... As Volleyball our, yun, no? yung nag-open nung um, ROTC games dyan? Yes. Yes, volleyball yun. And then doon si Fritz and Senator Francis Tolentino to open up the games. And syempre, uh, ma-action yan yung mga laban na yan. And uh, uh, yun din yung ikinagulat. No? Uh, and uh, also... Uh, ikinatawa ng ating uh, PSC Commissioner si Com Com Gaston and later masashare niya and I see as, as, as we hear it from him straight uh, in an exclusive interview but uh, in the next uh, ito pong sumunod na araw po kahapon naman po nag umo uh, kasabay ng volleyball na buksan na rin po natin yung mga games natin in athletics ayan in athletics kung saan nagkaroon na po ng uh, first gold medals uh, in athletics no uh, yan si uh, Pipet Rebilio ng Filmera Christian School yan siya po ay nag uh, Siya po ang kauna-una na ng uh, uh, gold. gold medal in the women's 200 meter run. From which faction Ganun. siya um, from, Joash? Galing ba sa Aiden? Or... Uh, galing sa branch uh, ng ano to, no? Uh, I, I believe uh, she was from the Air Force. Si, mm. ano, si, si Medyo hindi familiar sa atin yung pag uh, ano na ng mga nanalo, no? So it's a different um, set yes. of... Um, champions for the AFP, then for the Air Force, and then sobrang Iba different yung, regular. Yeah. Uh, Tama. Iba yung format nito, IC. Ano? Kung napapansin nyo no, sa games natin sa Batang Pinoy and PNG, mga LGU-based po yung competitions natin. And syempre, pag nagkaroon na ng medal tally sa dulo, uh, 
uh, near rank per LGU o uh, LGU that they represent. Ngayon po, uh, iba po ang sistema ng ROTC games. Uh, very complex din. But it's a happy, a happy development po, no? sa para sa palarong ito and uh, uh, sabi sinabi nga ni IC no ang ating pong RPC games ay uh, naglalaban-laban po ang uh, uh, each uh, branches po no, of military service so it's army versus army air force versus mm-hmm. air force ganyan siya and ganun din sa metal tally uh, hindi na nakalitaw doon i believe no uh, kung anong school and kung anong LGU you are based but uh, maka-count na siya under the umbrella of your ano military service branch ganun na siya magiging so i believe at uh, i hopefully today you know with, the, with i think with enough games na nagko-compete na tayo uh, i think uh, hopefully makapaglabas ng medal tally ang ating uh, ROTC games at uh, working group and uh, when they do makita natin doon yung ranking would be from the branches kung ilang medals may and something na kailangan nating abangan. So kasama ni Paipet Prebilio uh, na nanalo ng unang gintong medalya sa women's 200. Ganoon naman sa men's 200 din as uh, si Peter Molina also an Air Force cadet. Uh, si siya naman ay nagwagi sa men's 200 meter na gold medal ito kahapon. And uh, tuloy-tuloy po 'yan. Marami pa pong palaro ang mangyayari. Uh, I today po we have a scheduled games uh, for five different sports na IC that's athletics uh, that's athletics that, that's volleyball uh, tapos ngayong hapon po ngayong alas 4 ng hapon sa SMCT Iloilo magkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, games for our niece uh, for boxing starting 4 p.m. and i believe may ongoing na rin for our niece and kickboxing so uh, medyo lahat na ng uh, sports is also most of them is also going on the run na nagkaroon din niya ng mga solidarity meetings i see bago magsimula yung laro katulad ng format din na ginagawa natin sa Batang Pinoy and PNG as you know ay nagka uh, hinahadel po muna natin yung mga coaches and technical director as uh, para nagkaroon ng solidarity meeting just to get uh, maging in sync lang on the mechanics of the games the conducts of the games so lahat yan. So, bago magsimula. So, hindi lang sila sabay-sabay nagkaroon ng solidarity meeting. But uh, right now, uh, pagkatapos naman ng solidarity meeting na yun, uh, diretso na uh, to compete yung ating mga cadet athletes. So, it's a welcome development. Uh, it's a warm reception po, no? Dito. And nakikita nga rin namin as we go around, ang um, input kami, uh, our, our media friends and ang ating opisina sa public communications office ay umikikot dito just to cover the games. Nakakaiba yung feeling kasi ano eh, uh, most of them kilala, kilala, kilala din yung isa't isa uh, from the different branches. Magkakakilala yung mga magkakalaro. Ah, so dito. although under different umbrellas sila, familiar na rin sila sa isa't isa? Mm-hmm. Somewhat they are familiar with each other, I see. Tama ka dun. And uh, dahil syempre, uh, kapag uh, nagkakaroon naman ng mga formation nga ba ang tawag nila dyan, kung nagkakaroon ng mga cadet formations diba, sa schools and stuff, magkakakilala sila although from different branches. So, uh, isa rin tong magandang development for uh, the grassroots uh, program po no, ng ating bansa dahil uh, malay mo and uh, yun nga, as, in, uh, as, you, as you've heard from me, no, yung ating mga first gold medalists kahapon, uh, matadagdagan pa yan mamaya sa athletics natin. Uh, ngayong hapon din, I believe, simultaneous to our program, may magkakaroon din po ng final final uh, final events uh, for athletics and one other set of uh, medalists na naman po ito. Uh, and uh, syempre, uh, for the information din po ng mga nanonood sa atin, uh, kapag nanalo po ng uh, gold medal uh, from, from uh, a specific event ng ROTC Games, uh, automatically they are qualified for a spot uh, for a spot po no? uh, doon sa national, national championships. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nagaganapin naman po yung national championships. Diyan na po, diyan sa pinagsistayan natin ngayon sa Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. Diyan po uh, sa PSC Grounds gaganapin yung ating uh, national championship. So, uh, it's, 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 it's an exciting uh, one itong ROTC Games. Alam namin we are just uh, probably ilang, uh, day three, day three of competitions pa lang po tayo ano, since we started uh, on uh, uh, August 14. Pero, uh, I believe uh, mayroon pa po tayo mga ilang araw pa, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 16 is today, 17, 18. Uh, and, uh, bef- and on the 19th, I believe, on Saturday, before we close the program. So dito po yan, closing ceremonies po natin will be on the 14th. So it's something din na kailangan pang abangan ng ating mga uh, sports fans. If kung may mga, may mga kababayan po tayo na uh, nandito sa Iloilo, and uh, it's something uh, to uh, something great to watch. No? Ano orin niyo po ang mga... Ah, pwede po manood ng live sa mga games? 
Yes, yes. Uh, uh, open naman po to, to public ang mga ating uh, mga laro. No? Specific, most likely, most, most specifically, sa atin pong uh, sa likod lang, no? just a few uh, few walks, a few minute walk ahead of um, before us, yung ating Iloilo Sports Complex, yung athletics event natin nandiyan. And syempre, uh, accessible to the public po yung mga laro natin sa Robinsons. I believe nandun yung ating kickboxing ata eh, on, sa Robinsons. And yung Arnie's and boxing naman natin would be on SM. So nandung side naman ng, uh, ng ating uh, ng city. And syempre, uh, yung mga ibang events, no? syempre, they also have their venues as well. So maganda tong ano, maganda tong ROTC games that's very exciting. And later mamaya ano, after uh siguro magbe-break muna tayo and uh, when we come back, uh bibigyan tayo uh, ng updates uh, ng ating uh, our very own uh, PSC commissioner Matthew Fiscuston on on his reactions, your initial thoughts niya I see on uh, on the start of uh, the Philippine ROTC Games Visayas Regional League. So, uh, mga sa mga viewers po natin will be uh, will be right back. We'll just take a break and uh, when we come back we will give you the exclusive interview uh, with our PSC commissioner Matthew Fitzgerald. Mga we'll balik po kami sa ilang pala. Pokari Sweat presents The Sweat You Forget. Hello there, I'm Carrie. You see, it's the sweat that you forget that's dehydrating you. Like, work from home over time, oversleeping, being in cold temperatures, having caffeinated drinks, or alcohol, fighting a fever, and even crying. <laughs> but you can always recover with Pokari Sweat. Because of these ions, we can help with your body's rehydration. So remember the sweat you forget and always stay hydrated! balik po tayo sa PSC chat room and uh, kanina po no you, you just heard uh, yung updates natin sa mga nangyayari po ongoing dito sa Iloilo uh, and uh, for our Philippine ROTC Games Visayas Regional Leg and uh, ito po no uh, ang ating pong second part ng programa eh, we had the chance to uh, to have a small chat no with our our PSC commissioner si Com Matthew Fritz Kiston uh, nakasama po natin dito uh, together with our chairman from the opening and uh, I think a few days no uh, ikot si Comfrits just to uh, check on our cadet athletes and uh, tingnan yung status ng ating mga laro and uh, At ayun na nga po, uh, mukhang nawala po ulit si Josh. And as he was saying, we want to introduce... Oh, 
we want to introduce um, our um, for an exclusive interview na ginanap sa Iloilo City, we want to introduce PSC Commissioner Matthew Fitz Gaston kung saan nakapanayam namin siya on um, just a few questions about his um, experience and mga observations niya sa ginanap na ROTC Games, um, our um, opening ceremony, and of course, in the duration or the ongoing ROTC Games sa Iloilo City. Um, so here's the clip of the interview that we've gotten with um, PSC Commissioner Matthew Fritz Gaston. Kasama po natin ngayong hapon na ito ang ating uh, one of our commissioners uh, sa Philippine Sports Commission we have with us. Joining us dito po sa uh, Visayas Regional Leg ng Philippine ROTC Games, we have Bob Fritzko. Magandang hapon po. Pwede nito pong batiin yung mga nanonood po sa atin ngayon sa PSC chat room. Yun. Magandang hapon ulit sa ating mga manonood sa PSC chat room. Oh, welcoming you all the way from uh, Iguilo. Yeah. Where we have our first ever ngayon parang siguro ito ang kick-off ng uh, ROTC Games, right? Kom, uh, you were uh, given the chance kom na makapag-ikot-ikot po. Kahit na uh, a few days lang po no, uh, dito po sa Iguilo City. Uh, just checking in, Chef, the Philippine Sports Commission supporting uh, Chef and the uh, Department of National Defense dito po sa ating uh, Philippine ROTC Games. Kung uh, gusto ko lang po tanongin, you were there in our opening ceremonies. Uh -oh. Ano po, baka pwede po i-share sa amin, ano po ba yung mga na-witness ninyo, baka mga gandang uh, highlights na uh, memorable sa inyo on okay. this very first ROTC Games. Sige. Alright. Well, one is, I'd like to connect, I'd like to connect the opening as you ask on the uh, effect on the ROTC, which is the event itself, no? And then, and then maybe share with you first the, 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 my, uh, my analysis or, or interpretation why we have this ROTC games, you know? This was obviously conceptualized by our good uh, uh, thinker senator, uh, Francis Filipino. This is a thinker and a doer, of course, in, in, uh, in the Senate. Uh, when I was asked yesterday in the, in the press, uh, what is this, ROTC games, are, are you in favor of this and all, my, I, I immediately went back in time, during my time, no, I even shared it and asked uh, Chairman Chairman, the others, a question yesterday, Joas, na, is this is mandatory before, and, oh, now they're trying to make it a lot mandatory, there were questions about this. So, sabi ko, alam mo, during our time, we did, that was not even an issue. It was regularly a part of uh, a student life. We had the CAT, the PMT in high school, and we had the ROTC in college, and that was a part of life. Hindi kagaya ngayon, it's a choice, no? So now, there's a struggle between that. But again, uh, tying it up in sports, sabi ko, alam mo, ang panahon namin, uh, in Ateneo, ours was Air Force, ROTC. Ateneo, it's tied up. Si Chairman Lasal is Navy naman yung kanila. And how it went before was that we, I was an athlete, I was a basketball national player and PBA. Chairman uh, Diti, or Richard was also a, a, uh, a PBA player and a Lasal player. No? So during our times, we were playing for the school. At the same time, we were required to attend the ROTC. See, in fact, we were even uh, 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 recruited to play for the ROCT. ROCT team, uh, ROTC team ng Ateneo and his school. So, even during the time, there were activity, but at that time, it was more like, you do your ROTC, but there are athletes also on the side of it. Ngayon, ang focus ngayon, if you come back up to this ROTC, is the ROTC, um, uh, what we call these practitioners now, or the ones that are choosing to to uh, take up art, art pieces instead of music and instead of uh, these other disciplines so until it becomes mandatory is that they are given a chance to be athletes also. See, that's the main difference. And now I'd like to tie it up to their opening. It gives them a glimpse of how a real Olympic opening or an Asian opening uh, uh, sports events, no? And these are all just ROTC participants. I think it gives them not only that, but a hope and a chance to say, hey, hindi lang pala kami ROTC. Pwede rin pala kami ngayon maging athletes to the level of international, to the level of elite athletes. So that's basically my, my, my impression of this uh, ROTC games. Yeah, Siyempre kung uh, kami hindi, nasa, nasa city of love nga tayo, Ika, talagang hindi uh -huh. ko, I think they gave uh, 
very very nice opening para sa mga tagal athletes natin. Kung uh, you also uh, you also had a chance to visit, I think uh, at the opening game po natin of mm -hmm. the volleyball events and uh, that's kung kung gusto po yes. ang uh, I think it was in the University of San Agustin. Yes. Kung gusto po ang uh, game reception ko ito mo. Uh, you you watch well, the games? Yes the yes game. yes. Yeah, I watch the volleyball and uh, you mentioned City of Love. There did seem to have love uh, between the. Uh, Opposing teams when it came to competition, but of course they were very friendly and flat. But when it, during the competition, they were very competitive in schools, and uh, and they were very knowledgeable of the sport. Mm -hmm. So maganda yon. It was a, a, a good view of the of the competition, and I heard in the afternoon there were a couple of more uh, schools that registered. I think the closing registration, some other areas from the Visayas. So that means there is interest, and, uh, and and that would provide more competition. Mm -hmm. Sayang lang, I couldn't go to the uh, athletics this morning. I had to attend the breakfast. Meeting. All right. Come, uh, the opening as well, and uh, the, over the duration of your stay here, uh -huh. uh, you were with the uh, moments po kayo with the chairman, uh, chairman Bachman, and also yung officials po natin, to have a chance with Senator Francis Tolentino, syempre, uh, this is his idea, this is his plan as well, yung contact with ROTC Games. Pero po ba siya mga binahagi sa inyo, uh, to the Chairman Blackman, sir, na parang his vision going forward for the future of our world, yung cadet athletes? Yeah, well, one, they, we are, they and I share that feeling of looking forward to the rest of the legs mm -hmm. that are prepared, we kept saying, uh, and, and you can see the excitement in the beam, in the two of them also. That is just the beginning. There are what we call bird pains in how it's done. But obviously, kudos to our group, kudos to you, and to PSC for having run the event. Because as you know, we mentioned this is tripartite. Now we are only supporting the uh, between the CHED, the uh, DND, and the and the Office of uh, Senator Tolentino. But they requested us to practically run it. We were the DOG, we were the technical, and I think it ran very smoothly. So at the start of this leg, and uh, that's why they are excited, and I share that excitement. They so like, oh, next leg I think is in uh, Sambuanga. Mm -hmm. Then the next leg after that, we come back to Manila, in uh, Metro Manila, and then Pasig. Then after that, oh, no, I think Tagaytay muna in Capite. And then the, it will culminate in the national in, uh, in, uh, in Davao. So with this seeing this is a very good at starting opening, program and the guests that spoke so like it, it really it really gave an impression of a real run uh, athletic event no? in the level of Palaro and the Palaro also except that there are a lot lot less team participation so there are these you know, but you know, sinasabi nila that uh, uh, we are very confident that in the next legs mas dadami na yan at mm -hmm. mas maging maganda na competition from us and from me personally, I hope to be able to see some athletes there that will accept that maybe we can pluck and say, Oi, pwede ka na sa amin, we can train you for the uh, NTP, no? for our NTP. But in this, if you're in this region, we'll have you train in that region through our uh, regional training uh, program. Uh, siguro po, I'll connect ko lang to your recent uh, answer po. What does this ROTC game po, uh, games po say about our ano po? Our program in general, the program for national sports development program in PSC. At the same time, what does this say about our grassroots sports development? Uh, well, we have extended grown beyond and grassroots, not, and we've defined with this with this uh, participation, not, then with the RTC, it has become sectoral. The right? sectors now, now we can probably look. We okay at that. We support that. Then let's look, look at other sectors, not in of society. We have IP now, the right? We have also IP. And now we have this other PC, and then we have women in sports, although that's already part of the elite, not in our city. It's a mix between women and men. So, in other words, we look at also other uh, sectors of society, and that we will have uh, 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 games participation from them. Maybe we will also have the LGBT uh, 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 section and, and city. Maybe they, they are. Actually, they are natural for our volleyball. <laughs> a good players that come from the sector and and and, and many others. No? So hopefully, it is a I know, for us one. It's a challenge for us to expand uh, talent identification. Not, not, 
just grassroots, but also sectors already. So it's, it's, it's really a good idea. I, I salute uh, all of the ones that, that helped put this up, you know, starting from uh, the chairman of our thesis, Senator uh, Francis Tolentino, and the chair, and the and, uh, chair, and then of course D and D you know, for having that. And uh, as I said earlier, with our help, we should be able to, to be able to, to increase our chances of finding uh, good athletes and, and, and uh, for our national as well as our mandate to provide sports for all support. Thank you, Rob. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, salamat din. And keep watching. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Bakari Sweat presents The Sweat You Forget. Hello there, I'm Carrie. You see, it's the sweat that you forget that's dehydrating you. Like work from home over time, oversleeping, being in cold temperatures, having caffeinated drinks, or alcohol, fighting a fever, and even crying. <laughs> but you can always recover with Bakari Sweat. Because of these ions, we can help with your body's rehydration. So remember the sweat you forget and always stay hydrated. Bokari Sweat. Bokari Sweat presents the sweat. Yun na nga po ang ating exclusive interview with PSC Commissioner Matthew Pritz Gaston. And as you've said nga, um, talaga nga po natutuwa siya sa new um, ROTC kasi nga po nag-introduce sila ng mga, mga games para sa ating mga cadet athletes which was um, somehow different from, um, during his time when he um, was, a, was an athlete and they were uh, mandatorily um, um, in the ROTC um, activities. So, Natutuwa nga po siya sa naging opening ceremonies and of course how the ROTC Games is currently going on sa Edo Edo City. And he's looking forward to the upcoming legs that's for the Mindanao um, leg that's happening in Sambuanga. Um, we'll actually be there together with um, my back-end specialist here, um, Benedict. And of course, sa uh, Luzon leg naman that will be done in Cavite. And for the NCR here in Rizal and then the Nationals, of course, here also as well in Rizal and in NCR overall. So, yun na nga po ang latest updates natin from the ROTC Games. And if you want to be updated on the current happenings, not only just in the ROTC Games besides LEG, but also with, for the agency's um, activities and events, you can always check our official social media platforms shown below here. So, you can check those out. So, um, again, on behalf of the PSC community and PSC um, agency, uh, from Chairman Richard Bachman to the PSC Board, four commissioners, Commissioner Olivia Bonku, Commissioner Edward Heiko, Commissioner Walter Torres, and Commissioner Matthew Fritz Caston. We want to thank you all for tuning in weekly on our PSC chat room. And yeah, um, thank you for tuning in. And you can also um, get updates next Friday. That's on PSC Hour with Radio Dos Filipinas. Same time, 1 p.m., uh, live as well on Facebook and on Radio Dos Pilipinas social media platforms. Again, ako po si IC Almazan ng Public Communications Office ng PSC na naghahatid sa inyo ng latest updates for this week. See you again next weekend on Friday po. Maraming salamat po.